My name is Dr. Grace Chingo. I'm a pediatrician by profession from Osaka, Zambia. I am currently undergoing training under pediatric and medical oncology at Dr. B. Borawa Cancer Institute in Guwahati, Assam. So back home, the challenges that we have in terms of delivery of uh, quality cancer care is that the whole of Zambia currently, we only have one trained pediatric medical oncologists to cater for the whole country. And in addition, currently there is only one uh, established pediatric cancer unit for the whole country. In terms of the number of patients that we see in a week, uh, there are about between 50 to 60 patients. Bring the total number of patients seen in a month to about 150 patients. And what we've noticed uh, the patients that come to Cancer Disease Hospital are those patients that are within the vicinity of uh, Lusaka province, meaning the rest of Zambia uh, are really not cut out for. And in addition, most of these patients, by the time they are presenting to CDH, they are in advanced stage of, of the disease. As I was coming for this program, my expectations were to be exposed to the common pediatric cancer patients, be able to see patients, how they present, be able to wake them up in terms of diagnostics, come up with a treatment plan, know what type of, um, how to approach uh, a type of patients and what type of chemo you are supposed to give, how to administer chemo, as well as the common uh, medical oncology procedures. In terms of, uh, Apart from uh, being exposed to how to, on how to manage these patients, I had an opportunity to be exposed to a holistic approach in terms of pediatric cancer care. Apart from having nurses, doctors on the unit, uh, the dietitian or nutritionist is very important in terms of uh, delivering quality care to pediatric cancer patients. Then I had also an opportunity to be exposed to the bone marrow transplant at ACTREC, which enhanced my knowledge in terms of how complicated cancer patients are managed, as well as uh, certain, as, as you are planning for the treatment of a patient, I, I was able to know what approach I should do in terms of planning the initial management of the patient. In terms of the training, the COVID-19 pandemic affected the time that we spent in uh, doctor-patient interaction, as well as the time that we interact with the residents here, as well as uh, uh, the consultants. But, they, uh, but uh, despite all this, we're able to continue learning and interacting with our colleagues, the residences, residents, as well as the consultants through webinars and uh, uh, Zoom presentation. So my advice to would-be trainees, those who, who would like to pursue a training in pediatric medical oncology is that because the training duration is short, it's just one year, the minute you land, you run and spend more time interacting with the patients on the ward, interact with the residents, be proactive, have a schedule of things that you want to learn. And whenever you're not clear, always approach your consultants, they are very approachable. Currently, back home in Zambia, there are no other organizations that are offering uh, a similar training program for pediatric medical oncology. In terms of suggestions on how to improve the program, what I noticed is we had a challenge with, uh, in terms of language, we're not able to uh, uh, interact with the patients without a translator. So I would recommend that some sort of uh, language training is, uh, is, is given to trainees. For instance, maybe the first four months or so, on the common uh, words that are needed for you to uh, make your training more, more smoother. In terms of uh, how the program can be improved, I would recommend that uh, since most of the locals, that the, meaning the patients, speak the local language, it would be helpful if the trainees 
are exposed to language, language learning concurrently with the training for the, at least the first four weeks. In addition, there should be some form of guidance, some form of guideline for the trainees in what they should uh, focus on, the important, important aspects of their learning. Because oncology is quite wide, and uh, without proper guidance, without a, a proper laid down syllabus, sort of syllabus for the training, we wouldn't know really what to concentrate on, concentrate on in terms of our training. Then in addition, uh, we would request that the residents, residents as well as the consultants should use the English, English language as much as possible uh, during the teaching sessions and not use their uh, local language. Critical things uh, that can help improve the cancer care back home in Zambia are one, strengthening of cancer control programs because most of these patients that we receive come in advanced stage and uh, what we've noticed is for some of these patients they're either undiagnosed or misdiagnosed. Then the other issue is in terms of human resource. We have very few uh, specialists available in the country. I'd like to thank uh, Meg Foundation and Tata Memorial Center, specifically Dr. B. Borrell Cancer Institute for according us this opportunity to have exposure, acquire knowledge and skills, to be better equipped to deliver specialist cancer care back home in Zambia. We are definite that the, the exposure that we have, will, that we've had, will have a lasting impact in terms of uh, delivering better quality health care services for pediatric cancer patients in Lusaka, Zambia. Thank you.